to infinity and beyond. That's right guys, welcome back to this brand new and exciting video on my channel in VR. Today we are going to jump into Buzz Aldrin's cycling pathways to Mars and this is a title where you can go on a journey together with Mr. Aldrin himself. He was the second man on the moon and in this experience he will show you his landing site and he also gives you a sneak peek of his first hand plans for inhabiting Mars. It's a unique opportunity to meet the astronaut through his hologram today and future generations will be able to experience Aldrin's legacy. And that sounds great to me. Now it's time to check it out and jump right into the metaphors. Let's -a go. And here we are guys in the experience itself. The excitement is real. This is going to be an adventure for sure. I'm very curious about this one. I mean, I heard many good things about it, so hopefully it's going to surprise us a bit. I'm Buzz Aldrin. I was honored there. to be a member of the first crew to set foot on the moon in 1969. My colleagues on that historic Apollo 11 mission Neil Armstrong, Mike Collins, and I represented a challenge set in motion by President John F. Kennedy. We're going back in time. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. Ah. Just a short eight years after President Kennedy's call to reach for the moon, Neil and I were standing here on the moon. Oh, are we going to that historical moment? Sweet. Yes, I want to see that. Oh yeah, here we A go. A dream of centuries transformed into reality. But I want to be remembered for more than just kicking up moon dust. <laughs> I want my legacy to include laying the groundwork for a permanent human settlement on Mars. And I have a plan. That plan is called Cycling Pathways to Mars. Oh, show me more. I'm getting curious here, guys. I'm enjoying myself. Buzz Aldrin, Cycling Pathways to Mars. Hey. hey. Cycling Pathways to Mars is more than a single mission. It's a permanent Whoa. transportation system to build and sustain a human colony on Mars. Using planetary orbits and resources from the moon, cool. we're able to power two spacecraft in continual cycles to Mars and back. The carefully designed flight path gives us an unprecedented number of trips to Mars in the most efficient way possible. But let's go step by step and look at what powers this complex chain of activity. And for that, we must start back where our journey began, the moon. Wait, what? So building a base on the moon, a mining base? That sounds funny to me, but it's not impossible, I guess. One of the keys to sending humans to Mars is acquiring the rocket fuel we need from the surface of the moon. Within permanently shadowed craters on the moon is a mother load of ice that can be turned into rocket fuel. Oh. We'll also need to use the moon as a place where we can telerobotically assemble similar habitation modules and test the systems we will use on Mars. If traveling to the moon were like crossing a small lake, 
Traveling to Mars would be like crossing a vast ocean. While it took my colleagues and I three and a half days to travel to the moon, it will take six months to travel to Mars. Six months? To make this incredible journey, That's I've long. designed two long duration spacecraft to withstand oh. the many rigors of the trip while remaining extremely Whoa. efficient. I call these spacecraft cyclers. Cyclers? That's a pretty badass name. I didn't even knew this guy was working on a project like this. Landers from the Earth join up with these cyclers to take international crews on the six month journey to Mars. This will allow the future settlers of Mars to travel oh. safely, shielded from cosmic radiation. Whoa. This is fantastic. Check this out. <laughs> it's freaking huge, right? It is. This is beautiful. This is nice, right? This is VR and it's best. You can just learn so much more by being there, you know? Ooh, and it's gone. Just as we used our moon as a stepping stone for our departure, we'll use Mars's moon as a stepping stone to our arrival. Before reaching the surface, the crew will occupy the Martian moon Phobos. There, they will spend two years remotely controlling the assembly of habitats, greenhouses, and other facilities. When the crew and mission control are satisfied everything works properly, they will make their final descent to the surface. What once seemed like a dream will become a reality. The first human life on Mars. VR keeps on amazing me. This is just one of those moments where I'm like, wow, this is mind blowing, right? What the, this is, I don't know, I'm speechless. On the of Mars, the first inhabitants will learn to live off the land. They will grow food and build the next generation of housing structures using local Martian resources. And they will conduct far reaching research Seeking answers to many questions. <laughs> what is the future of Earth? Is there other life in the universe? Can humanity become a multi planetary species? Ooh, that's These a hard question. Can only be answered by scientists, engineers, architects, and artisans who will not only survive, but thrive on the surface of Mars. <laughs> Whoa! Just as President Kennedy said, we choose to go to the moon, now we must choose to go to Mars. Where we may know humanity's place in the galaxy today, but not tomorrow. Oh, that is so bright. Oh, this is cool. The fundamentals of cycling pathways to Mars will serve as a blueprint for sustainable, efficient interplanetary travel. For it's in our nature to explore the bounds of space, push humanity's limits, and make the impossible possible. Ah. So let's visualize the coming of tomorrow. Grab hold of the future and make it ours. Roger your dad. And that was the one and only Buzz Lightyear cycling pathways to Mars experience. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then slam that like button as always and let me know in the comments below 
what I should play next. That would be nice. Now, this title was awesome. A lot of fun. I would definitely go and check it out. It's totally free. Link will be in the description below if you are interested. And yes, you can download it on Vive part only. So yes, uh, that's it for now. Nati signing off. And as I always say, and I see you guys next time. To infinity and beyond. Bye bye.